going to start just right at the beginning of the second line. La, 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 mi, la, so. So let me just start with the dotted rhythm. La, mi, la, so. La, mi, la, so. La, so, la, la. La, so, la, la. I think that there. I'll sing one. I'll sing one. Sing it back to me. I'll sing the next one. Can you want to hear? Why, why are we singing the shapes or the, the syllables rather than just yeah, some other way? Yeah, the both solfeggio system, singing those syllables goes back a long way. Uh, the shapes are actually a unique American invention uh, around about 1800. And the idea was to try to make this stuff easier to sing, make sight singing easier. Uh, this was an attempt to improve congregational singing back in those days. And if you work at it, it really does work. It does. Because the shape tells you where in the scale you are. But the same law. In behold, in that first line, we have la, la, yeah. this is down on the stuff. Yeah. And the second measure to the end. Those are two different notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's what's confusing to me. Right. So, the, yeah, this, this particular system is a four shape system, so they use four different shapes the fa, so, la, and me for all seven notes of the scale. Mm. Right? And there actually are seven note systems out there where they have different, uh, seven different shapes. Um, so what you what you gain in clarity in that system, you sort of lose in simplicity because by the time you're trying to write in this music, write all these weird little shapes, really hard to remember. This book that we're singing from has been in continual publication since 1844, and it's the most successful um, shape note uh, book, and so that's why we use it. It works. <laughs> but it takes time. I just want to avoid. I mean, for me, doing hearing singing from choral music and never being able to read any music at all. So I have always learned to associate sound and language in a sequence. So that's, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm being reflected into some it's a language. really strange language. Yeah. It's a language. Yeah, well, I learned something Yeah, right. I was also going to say, for me, yeah. that at first it seemed kind of confusing that oh, yeah. there would be two laws or two paws, but there's something that happens after a while that the, the way that they're divided, it starts to make sense because okay. those are the, to me, the most uh, consonant um, intervals. Mm -hmm. La, la, um, Perfect fifth. Yeah, it's always fifths. Yeah. So it's always, they feel like they're resolving together. Uh -huh. and, and they always work that way no matter where they are in the scale. Okay. And so they're easy to find after a while. Okay, that's right. helpful. The that law that you start out with is the, is the C sharp. And, and that's in the middle of the five line set. It's right in the middle. Now the other law is, is, is going to be at the bottom or, the, or, or above, so that you don't get it mixed up. You know, you just have to focus at the beginning of the piece. Um, okay, is this law that you know? Is it the tonic that I'm starting on, or is it the fifth? You're already in the language. <laughs> <laughs> starting C <to see> sharp. <laughs> <laughs>
Together. Here we go. Fa, la, so, fa. 